Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is FinestXI, and in this one, I'm going to show you how to complete the mechanic task Gunsmith Part 15 with minimal effort. Let's get into it. All right, so this one does require a few parts and some of them can be a little expensive, but there are a few ways around it to cheapen the cost and uh, make it a little easier on you guys. So to start out, we need to buy the M14 Ultimac M8 upper part. I know it's a mouthful. This thing was going for about a hundred plus thousand when I was looking for it, but you can barter it at mechanic level two. You actually just need to trade him three printed circuit boards and those shouldn't cost you much at all. That should be much cheaper than buying it on the flea market for full cost. Next, we need to buy the Night Force ATACR scope. You can get this from Jaeger level 4, but you can barter at Jaeger level 2. All you need for that is a power bank, two magnets, and a UV lamp. Depending on the cost of the items, this could be a little cheaper to do the barter, but I'll let you guys figure that one out. Then we need a 34 millimeter one piece mag mount. The wiki says to use the one by IEA Milt Optics, but I just used the one that you can barter with Jaeger for. He just wanted one propane tank, and then he gave me the 34 millimeter mount. Next, you need to get the aim point micro t1 reflex site and the aim point mount for the site of micro series from peacekeeper level one then pick up the hollow sun tactical device from skier level three and a 22 inch m1a barrel from mechanic level three next we need the m14 utg four point locking deluxe mount you can get this from mechanic level three or peacekeeper level two barter and for that he just wants some weapon parts and some wd-40 the 100 milliliter variant last couple items here is the compensator 2ax3 you can get this from mechanic level two and then last thing is the m1a archangel stock from mechanic level three so once we have all the parts go ahead and assemble the gun and then make sure the magazine is empty and then you should be able to turn it into mechanic no questions asked no problems and congratulations you've completed gunsmith part 15 there's only one more to go in this series and it is a bit expensive so brace yourselves for that but we're done with this one guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember i stream on twitch all the time so if you have any questions come stop by over there as always have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one